Welcome to Beyond the Data. I'm Dr. Phoebe Thorpe, and here with me today is Dr. Alicia Fry, Branch Chief of the Influenza Epidemiology and Prevention of the Influenza Division here at CDC. Thank you so much for joining us, Alicia. Thank you. Today's session was about severe seasonal influenza. Um, what should you do if you, know, if you suspect you have the flu? Well, that's a great question. Now, if it's very early and you're just starting to have symptoms, it's probably worth calling your doctor. This is especially important if you're an older adult, 65 or older, or if you're a parent with a very young child, or if you have any underlying medical conditions such as diabetes or heart problems or lung problems, you, if you get, get to your doctor early and get antivirals early, these drugs can help you. They can reduce the severity of your illness and they can make you feel better quicker. And we learned today too that they can also reduce the length of hospitalizations. That's right. There are studies that suggest that in hospitalized patients, they can, uh, antivirals can reduce uh, the length of your hospitalization. And really, if you have just regular old flu that doesn't require hospitalization, these drugs can reduce your illness by at least about one day. So tell me, what can you do to prevent yourself from getting the flu? Well, the best way to prevent yourself from getting the flu is to get the flu vaccine. Now, right now, we recommend that the flu vaccine is given to everybody six months and older every year. And even we like people to get vaccinated before the flu season, but even if the flu season is already ongoing, it's not too late to get vaccinated. So if you haven't been vaccinated, go ahead and get vaccinated. Also in the session today, we heard about the complexity of matching the vaccine to the strains that are coming every year, because every year there's a new strain. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, you know, influenza viruses are constantly changing. And there are several different types of viruses that are circulating. So right now there's an H3N2 virus circulating and some B virus. B viruses, and in other years we have H1N1 viruses, and actually each vaccine has four different viruses in it, and all of these viruses are changing. And so the vaccine has to be updated very frequently so that it matches the strains that are circulating, and that's really one of the main reasons why you need to get vaccinated every year. Okay, so everybody needs to be vaccinated every year, but some people don't. What are some of the common barriers that causes people not to get vaccines? Well, I think some people think it's hard to find the vaccine, but you know, more than 150 million doses of vaccine were produced this year. So there is plenty of vaccine out there and still out there. The other thing is you can get vaccinated now at your doctor's office and at many large retail pharmacies even grocery stores. So there are a lot of places to get vaccinated. And really, the supply of vaccines shouldn't be a limit at all. And you had mentioned there are some really important uh, individuals that should be vaccinated because if they get flu, they have a chance of getting even more sick than people who are relatively healthy. Can you remind me which groups those are? That's right. There are some people who are at higher risk of having severe complications from flu. Those are the very young, so children under the eight, two and under, mm -hmm. the very old, so adults 65 and older, pregnant women, um, people who have immunosuppression, and people who have certain underlying medical conditions like heart disease or lung disease or diabetes. Those are all reasons to get the vaccine. Those are all special, special reasons, reasons to, to get, get the vaccine, vaccine. that's yes. right. And what about healthcare providers? What can healthcare providers do? Well, you know, healthcare providers are very important because we know that if a healthcare provider suggests to a patient that they get vaccinated, that that patient is much more likely to get vaccinated. So it's very important for clinicians to urge their patients to get vaccinated. vaccinated. And every year. That's right, every yeah. year. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. See you next time on Beyond the Data.